Debbie from Lime Doodle Design and today for my Doodling with Debbie feature for Samsa Stamp I have two clean and simple cards that use a spotlight of ink blended backgrounds to draw the eye to the focal point. The stamps and stencil I'm using today have just been released and are part of the Sending Sunshine release from Samsa Stamp. For both cards I'm going to be using the cute critters from the Hello There stamp set and for the first background I'm going to combine this set with the Deco Diamonds Cling Background stamp set and I have placed that in the Misty along with a piece of Nina Solar White £80 card. As I'm going to heat emboss this background, I'm treating the card with an anti-static powder bag to help prevent embossing powder randomly sticking to the card. I used clear embossing ink to stamp the image and applied a fair amount of pressure to ensure a good impression. I then sprinkled the piece with white embossing powder, tapped off any excess and heat set. I covered my work surface to keep it clean and then started ink blending over the embossed pattern. The heat embossed lines resist the ink to reveal a white pattern. I started with Rosy Cheeks dye ink, this is a lovely soft peachy pink and one of my favourites. I applied the ink with a mini round blending tool from Ranger and worked the ink from the edges of the card in and over the heat embossing with a gentle hand and keeping my hand moving in circular movements to get a nice smooth blend. Next I used Melon Ink, a lovely soft orange, and blended this over the rose cheeks ink and further out over the piece until I had a smooth blend from pink to peachy orange. Finally I brought in Sunshine Ink, soft yellow and finished blending ink over the rest of the card. Above the panel with a soft cloth to remove any residual ink from the emboss lines and then splattered the piece with a solution of Perfect Pearls. I made the solution by adding a scoop of Perfect Pearls powder in a mini mister and topping it up with water before giving it a good shake to mix the sparkly powder. I then used the tube from the mister to splatter over the panel to leave lovely sparkly droplets. I used a nested circle die to die cut a piece of the background to use for my card but I will keep the remnants of the background for use on another card. The Hello There stamp set has a bunch of cute critters and the ingenious theme of the old tin can and string telephone system that I remember trying out as a child. However, I'm only going to use one of the critters on each card. I thought the cat looked like he was waving and I wanted to combine him with the Hello There sentiment from the set. I placed a piece of Nina Solar White £80 card in the Misty and stamped the cat twice with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I planned to copy colour the cat and this ink doesn't smear with alcohol markers and also stamps with a lovely deep black outline. I've placed a piece of card under my image and this helps with copy colouring as any ink that bleeds through will firstly not mark my work surface and secondly will be absorbed by the underlying layer and not bounce back and bleed outside the lines. I'm not an expert at copy colouring and I stick to a simple method of laying down the shadow areas first and then gradually deepening those shadows before blending back through to the lighter colours. I leave the highlight areas to the end and try to preserve the contrast between the darkest and lightest areas which helps to give the impression of dimension and bring the image to life. I often go backwards and forwards through the range of shades until I have a smooth blend with deep shadows and light highlights. For interest I decided to give this cat a few spots and I concentrated the dots of marker in the shadow areas. I used a pair of sharp scissors to fussy cut around the cat and my best recommendation for doing this is to keep your cutting hand still and to move the paper with your non-dominant hand. For the sentiment I placed a piece of black card in the misty treated it with an anti-static powder bag and stamped the Hello There sentiment in clear embossing ink before sprinkling with white embossing powder and heat setting. I trimmed the sentiment to a banner with a scalpel and ruler and then used a pair of scissors to cut the end of the banner at an angle. For interest I decided to locate the spotlight in the lower right corner of an A2 card base I'd cut from Nina Solar White £110 card. I also placed a circle so that it overhung the edge of the card slightly. I think small details like this add interest to what is otherwise a very clean and simple card. I adhered the elements with foam adhesive and then to embellish I added sequins from Neat and Tangled and Delice and kept them in place with Ranger Multimedia Matte. I then added Nouveau Droplets in Bubblegum Blush and Simply White. Finally I added Spectrum Noir Shimmer Pen to the ears and nose and a coating of Nouveau Crystal Glaze to the cat's nose. I've been getting a lot of requests for quick and easy cards and I hope my cards today fit the bill. For my second card I added some repositional adhesive to the back of the new leafy frame stencil and placed it over a piece of Nina Solar White £80 card. I then blended inks from the edges of the stencil inwards, 
while trying to leave a lighter highlight area in the centre. I started with seafoam ink and then later brought in laurel green ink. I must apologise for the dressing on my hand. It's the first gardening injury of the season and while creating the first card I had a dressing which was quite discreet. It did however keep coming undone and so I resorted to micropore tape in order to keep it covered. I added splatters of perfect pearl solution around the edges of the stencil and also some green paint splatters too. I lifted the stencil, dried the panel and then die cut a section of the ink blended background with a nested circle die. For this card I'm going to use the Cheeky Monkey from the Hello There set and again stamp him twice with Samsa Stamp Intense Black Ink before Copic colouring. These are the Copic markers I initially pulled out as the basis for my colouring but I placed the caps of all the markers I used to the side for reference. My method for colouring the monkey was the same for the cat in the first card, placing a piece of spare card underneath, starting by laying down the shadow areas, deepening those areas, trying to keep some highlights for contrast, and slowly going backwards and forwards through the shades to get the nice smooth blends. Once all the colouring was complete, I added sparkle to the ears and nose, although I reserve adding the crystal glaze to the nose until later on for fear of smudging it while I was fussy cutting the image or adding it to the card. As with my first card, I stamped a white heat embossed another of the Hello There sentiments on black card and trimmed to a banner before cutting the end at an angle with scissors. I added a piece of twine for the monkey to hang from and kept it in place with tape on the back of the die cut circle. I then added a glue dot to the back of the monkey's paw so that he would grip onto the twine. I added foam adhesive to the back of all the elements and adhered them to a white card base. And then this time I used sequenced embellish from Little Things from Lucy's Cards along with Darice sequins and also some Duck Egg Blue Nouveau drops. I hope you enjoyed these two clean and simple cards which use spotlights of ink blended backgrounds to draw the eye to the cute critter focal point. On the Samsa Stamp blog you'll find a coordinating blog post as well as details of the supplies I've used today. If you want to find me I blog over at LimeDudeDesign.com. I want to thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.